What are your thoughts about gravity? Will leafy greens such as lettuce on a vertical tower grow downwards? Will it affect the beauty of the vegetable and make it not as presentable on a farmer's market? The school of aquaponics. This is a very logical question to ask and uh, it's reasonable to conclude that since, since plants are growing sideways that gravity should overtake them and they should eventually fall down, you know, due to the, uh, the, the, the force of gravity. So we're gonna touch on um, this on how this works um, when you're doing vertical farming. So plants display a growth response in reaction to a, a stimulus. And this is known as a tropic response or a tropism. And there's many type of tropisms out there. But in our case, we're going to be focusing on two types. Um, uh, gravitropism, which in referring to the plants is the, the, its response towards the Earth's gravitational field or, or gravity. And also phototropism, which is going to be the plant's response um, to uh, a light. So as far as gravitropism, we have two subcategories that we're going to be focusing on, positive and negative gravitropism. Positive gravitropism uh, pertains to uh, the, the roots. And basically what this is, is just a positive response going towards the direction uh, of the stimulus. In our case, once again, it's gravity. So gravity is pushing downward or what we know to be downward or think to be downward. And um, the roots are going positively with that stimulus. So that's why roots tend to go down. You can see you can germinate a seed and it doesn't matter which direction uh, you place the seed when it germinates, the roots are going to go downward for the vast majority of plants. There's some exceptions, but for the plants that we're growing, they're going downward. Now on the opposite end, we also have something known as negative gravitropism. And this uh, mainly pertains to the shoots of the, um, of the plant. The uh, leaves and the branches, they have a natural response to go away from the uh, gravitational uh, pull. They don't, they, they don't want anything to do with going towards gravity. They want to get away from gravity. And when you look at it in a, through an evolutionary standpoint, it makes sense. It makes perfect sense. It wouldn't be efficient for plant leaves to go uh, towards gravity because they wouldn't be absorbing light. So this is a natural response for plants. Um, to go uh, away from the gravitational uh, uh, pool. So this is known as uh, negative gravitropism. Now we also have something known as uh, a phototropism. And this is where it kind of gets a little tricky at when we're doing the vertical farming. Um, there are certain plants that have different responses to the gravitropism and to the phototropism. Like plants like kale, you'll notice that if you grow them uh, in a vertical uh, uh, a plane, then they're usually going to orient themselves more in a response towards the ne uh, negative gravitropism than towards the phototropism. So you have the light more so on the, uh, like for instance over here on the southern end, uh, but you'll see, you notice the kale will kind of orient itself straight up. It'll go straight up or less of an angle, I should say, than some of the other plants that, um, that you may grow. The uh, Swiss chard, they're in the same category. The collards do the same thing. Um, they pretty much uh, orient themselves the same way. Um, and you'll notice that there is a slight curve where at, at, um, at the where the, the roots meet kind of the, um, the stem right at the base. You'll see a curve. It'll, 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 ha it'll have some type of curvage um, going uh, straight up. So this does cause some type of uh, deformity, I guess you would say, on the plant. But none of it matters at the end of the day if you're for these type, these specific type of plants because you're, you're harvesting them, you're bunching them, and when you cut them, at the base, you can not tell if it has any, if it's been grown vertically or not. You wouldn't be able to notice. They come out pretty much straight, and no one's looking at the stem uh, and judging it off of that. They're, they're, people are eating the leaves, um, and that's what they want to see that the late leaves are healthy. So the bottom, if it has a slight tip, a curve on it when you harvest it, irrelevant. Doesn't doesn't matter at all. Now, when we grow plants like lettuce, lettuce has more of a phototropic uh, response, a stronger phototropic response than it does a gravitropic response. So it's going to orient itself more towards the light, whatever the direction the light is. So you can get lettuce plants to just kind of just grow straight out towards wherever your light direction's at. If you have a light right in front of it, specifically for indoor farming, um, then it'll grow right towards that direction and it'll have a nice fresh head, um, you know, ready for harvest. It won't really have too much of a curve, hardly any curve at all, um, other than it just, you know, growing out and to the side towards the light, but um, nothing noticeable. Um, so that's pretty much what it is. So it's important to have correct light placement um, uh, when you're doing vertical farming. That is very important. So I've never had anyone complain or anyone say anything about anything with the vertical farming, um, mainly because of the type of crops that I'm growing. So you will check you can just check, uh, try it out to see how the, uh, the plants respond in your area. Um, because during the summertime, 
Um, we don't grow lettuce over here in the summertime, so it might be something different. Um, it might have a different response if you're growing outside because the lettuce will go towards the light and then it may have some type of deformity. I've never done that before, so I couldn't give you advice on that. But I know like in the wintertime when we are growing and the, 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 the sun is in the most southern direction, then the, the lettuce is going right towards, towards it like you've seen in this video. Perfect heads look like it just came out of a cartoon. Like, I mean, this just, so we don't have any issues. Summertime, it's more so the kale, the collards, the Swiss chard, and that can grow any direction it wants. I just need the leaves off of it and, and the stems, and I can cut it in however I want to, and nobody's gonna say anything. This is Brooklyn St. Michael with the School of Aquaponics. Woo!